it seems that nepotism makes the world go round. Some of your favorite stars have gotten their start based on the fact they're related to somebody famous or who had a golden ticket within the industry. Both Phineas and Billie Eilish were born to actors as parents. In 2016, their father, Patrick O'Connell, managed to get Phineas's band, The Slightlies, onto the slot of that year's Warp Tour. Phineas had previously been a cast member on the show Glee. His band, The Slightlies, averaged 345 listens per song on their SoundCloud page. Besides working with just his sister, his other contributions include the likes of Justin Bieber, Tovlo, Selena Gomez, and more. Despite the backing of his family, most of Phineas's contributions outside of his sister's music have often ended in failure. He co-wrote the widely reviled song, To Lose You, To Love Me, by Selena Gomez. His highest charting single, excluding his sister, came at number 94 in the Billboard Hot 100 when he wrote First Man with Camila Cabello. Speaking within the web of the O'Connell family, Tate McRae, a known friend of Billie Eilish's, got her start from two acting parents as well. Before her singing career took off, she began a career in voice acting, being the voice of the Canadian Lala Loopsy cartoon. During her youth, her father spent $18,000 for her to study ballet at the Canadian Royal Academy in Alberta. Billie Eilish managed to have her signed to RCA Records after seeing her performance on the 13th season of So You Think You Can Dance. Before Kid Leroy managed to grow his friendship with Juice World, his father was a well-known producer and sound engineer in the Australian music industry for over 20 years. Meanwhile, his mother, Sloane Howard, was a talent manager and also happened to be the head of Columbia Records in Australia. In 2005, Taylor Swift's father purchased 30% of the record label that would finance her debut album. Scott Kingsley Swift, in fact, was a former board member of Merrill Lynch. Ed Sheeran managed to get his start in the late 2000s. His parents managed an art and music consulting firm. Sheeran's big break came in 2010, when his father managed to convince promoters of that year's Ipswich Festival to book his son as one of the headlining acts. Tones and I managed to get her start in the music industry after her aunt forged a powerful partnership with one of the top music heads in all of Australia. Jackson Walton Brown had previously produced songs for the likes of Sia, Silverchair, and more. He signed Tones and I in 2018, resulting in the absolute disaster that was Dance Monkey. <laughs> the Wolf Brothers, both Nat and Alex before they were starring in their very own Nickelodeon sitcom, were born into an extremely powerful family. Their father, Michael Wolf, was the previous band leader for the Arsenio Hall show in the 1990s. In the early 1990s, their mother, Polly Draper, had co-written for several sitcoms. Their late grandmother was a friend of former First Lady Barbara Bush. 